Hey, what is up guys? This is Terralian and we are doing the top 5 bows and repeaters in Terraria 1.2.4. Now before we get started, I just want to let you know what I'm using and here it is. Okay, starting the list off at number 5 is the Molten Fury. It's the strongest pre-hard mode bow, it's easy to make, it lights wooden arrows on fire, and on consoles only it can be used for the Sharanga. I like this bow because it can be used through early hard mode as well, which is really good. I always find myself getting it through my playthroughs, so I definitely recommend getting it as soon as you can. Next up on the list we have the Ice Bow. It is a hard mode weapon which is dropped by the mimics that are shaped as ice chests. All the arrows shot from the bow will turn into frost arrow which actually negate the effects of the arrow used. It travels really fast with less of an arc which makes it really easy to hit enemies as well. Overall it's easy to get and was really helpful throughout my whole playthrough so I definitely recommend it. Coming in at number 3 on the list is the Tsunami. It is a hard mode weapon dropped from the Duke Fish Run and has a 1 in 5 chance of being dropped. It shoots 5 arrows per shot, only consuming 1 arrow, unlike the Chlorophyte Shot Bow. This makes it incredibly easy to hit enemies, and I found myself hardly ever missing. Another great aspect about this is that it can deal with crowds of enemies quite easily, so for invasions, it's probably your second best bet. Just edged out from number 1 on the list is the Stake Launcher. It was introduced in the Pumpkin Moon event and it is dropped by the Morning Wood. The stakes are not affected by gravity which makes it go super far and super fast. It is easy against the destroyer as it does piercing shots and also crowds of enemies. It does extra damage to vampires which is about 5000 per hit so you'll be seeing a lot of damage being done to those vampires. I'd highly recommend this weapon as the ammunition is easy to get and really cheap for what it does. Coming in at number one on the list, taking top spot is the Pulse Bow. It was introduced in the 1.2.3 update and what can I say about this weapon? Let's, let's just give you a list right now. Uh, you can use any arrow as ammunition, it is very very fast, it can bounce off walls, it is unaffected by gravity, it is sold by the Travelling Merchant for 45 gold after beating Plantera which makes it super easy to get. It can pierce through multiple enemies and also auto fire which makes it a monster in invasions. I couldn't recommend this weapon enough if you have 45 gold which I'm sure most of you would have by endgame, so really you should just go get it. Okay guys, that does it for the list of my top 5 bows and repeaters for Terraria 1.2.4. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and leave a comment. If you want more content like this, subscribe right now to my channel. Peace.